Taurus. You need to know this right now for March the 16th through March the 17th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for March the 16th through March the 17th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for March the 16th through March the 17th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for March the 16th through March the 17th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Taurus. Taurus. You have the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. And this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So Taurus, you can tell me that you guys are having this communication. You can tell me that you've come into some truth and clarity. You can tell me that you're making a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Ace of Swords. For Taurus, clarify the Ace of Swords. For Taurus, it is clarified with the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Taurus, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Taurus, you can tell me that some truth and clarity is out about someone juggling. <clears throat> Taurus, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide because you're needing to make a decision. Or Taurus, you're telling me that you're using this sword to sever because they were juggling. Taurus, you have the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Taurus, it is clarified with death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Taurus. Clarify death. For Taurus, clarify death for Taurus. It is clarified with the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition, but you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So, Taurus, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Taurus. Clarify the high priestess for Taurus. Clarify the high priestess for Taurus. It is clarified with the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Taurus could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Clarify the king of swords. For Taurus, clarify the King of Swords. For Taurus, clarify the King of Swords. For Taurus, it is clarified with the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So Taurus, could be dealing with a Gemini, but you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. You can tell me there's another other lover, but the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. Clarify the lovers for Taurus. It is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Taurus could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this queen of swords and cutting something out. Also with the queen of swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Taurus could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own. Or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Oh, God. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. Taurus. New love, new start to love, or a blessing here. Hooch. Taurus. <laughs> Taurus. Now, the obvious. Let's start with the obvious first. Taurus, you can tell me that <clears throat> you're using your intuition and making a decision to cut them off because they had another other lover. You're ending things here. And even though they may be trying to apologize to you, you're ending things and needing to heal individually on your own because they had new love, another other lover. So you're making this decision because they were juggling. But Taurus, <laughs> I was really hoping not to see this Ace of Cups here because it can be flipped, Taurus. Taurus, you may tell me that you're needing to make a decision and cut someone off and you're using your intuition in order to do so because you're being propositioned by someone else. So you're going to have to end it with someone. And I feel like you need to make a choice, a decision between two, Taurus. And this new love might be your wish. <laughs> you have to start again, again, again. Like I said, it could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you could be getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. Clarify the star for Taurus. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Taurus, you can tell me that something is going on financially, some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Now Taurus, mm, you can tell me that you're breaking up with this person and just needing to heal individually on your own. Or you're telling me it's your wish to break up with them because... Your wish could be with this new other person over here, Taurus. Taurus, you have the seven of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you waiting. And in this wait, you're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. You're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not you want to continue to invest. Whether you want to reinvest. You're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of you looking at your coins, your harvest, your bank account. Looking at how much you have and how much you have to invest. Could be waiting on money. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Clarify the seven of pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the seven of pentacles. For Taurus, clarify the seven of pentacles. For Taurus, it is clarified with the queen of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leora Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who is highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Page of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love. Or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Taurus. Clarify the page of cups for Taurus. Clarify the page of cups for Taurus. It is clarified with the seven of pentacles again. Can I scoot you down? Can you scoot, 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 scoot? Ah, oh, Taurus. Taurus, you can tell me that you're waiting on money, looking at your coins, looking at your bank account. You can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that you're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship. Taurus, you can tell me that at any rate, you're needing to answer, okay? You're waiting, contemplating, and debating on whether or not you care to continue to invest or reinvest in a relationship. Taurus, the person that you're in a relationship with, the person who had another other lover that was juggling is apologizing here and you asking yourself whether or not you want to start new with this person or just heal individually on your own. However, Taurus, I also feel like you may be being propositioned by someone who is your actual wish. <laughs> Taurus, I don't know. And you had need to break up with this person to get your wish. So you have to think about it, Taurus, because I feel like you have two people after you. And the person you're with is kind of making it easy to, to move on. <laughs> you have the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leora, Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. 
Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Taurus, you can tell me there is a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups again. Someone's apologizing or coming in with some type of romantic gesture. <clears throat> Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Taurus. It is clarified with temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Taurus could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance for Taurus. Clarify temperance for Taurus. Clarify temperance for Taurus. It is clarified with justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying that someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Taurus could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. You can tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Taurus. Clarify justice for Taurus. Clarify justice for Taurus. It is clarified with the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news or message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, passionate messages or news of passion. So, Taurus, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. Clarify the page of wands for Taurus. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Taurus, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Taurus. Clarify the tower for Taurus. Clarify the tower for Taurus. It is clarified with this. You can't, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. I am sinking down in my sea right now. What? What? All of this, right where we started from? Ace of Swords. <sighs> Taurus. You guys could be having this communication. Taurus, you can tell me that some truth and clarity is out. Taurus, you can tell me that you're needing to make a decision or you're using this sword to sever. Oh, my God, Taurus. I 
I see both things happening here <laughs> simultaneously, Taurus. <clears throat> You can tell me some truth and clarity that came out, some type of shocking revelation, Taurus. You could have found these passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion out, being a player, getting cookies somewhere. And you may be threatening to take this to the justice system for a legal separation or divorce, or you feel like it wasn't fair, balanced, or just. And even though they are apologizing, you may feel like, you know what, I just need to break up with them and just heal. Because you're having to make a decision on whether or not you want to accept their apology. But Taurus, I also feel like you've been getting it on hot and heavy with someone. And with this someone, they're speaking of, now, okay, I don't want to say commitment because I don't want to do that. But I want to say commitment, but I don't want to do that. They're talking hot and heavy here, Taurus. And you're having to make a decision. And the thing is, Taurus, why do I feel like both are happening at the same time? And you have to choose between the present and the new. And it feels like you want to go towards the new. You want to break up so that you can go towards your wish. Your wish is this new love here. So you're having to make a decision, Taurus. And we went through the motions just to tell you, you have to make a decision. We ended where we began, Taurus. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you. Now, this is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Taurus. And it says lockbox closed. I'm sorry. Lockbox closed in, trapped, frustrated. Lockbox closed in, trapped, frustrated. You feel like you're on lockdown, Taurus. What else for Taurus? That keeps coming out. What else for Taurus? I don't feel trapped. Me, myself, personally. Shit, entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. Entrapment, pregnancy, money, heartstrings. Entrapped. So if you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus. <laughs> you need to know this right now from March the 16th through March the 20, um, 17, 2024. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.